If you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alley. He remains an almost mythic figure in the world of football, in part because what Vince Lombardi preached 40 years ago is still relevant today. One of those spreading the gospel, according to Lombardi, is his son, Vince Lombardi Jr. He's written books about leadership, teamwork, and excellence. He travels the country speaking to groups about the Lombardi rules. And yet, father and son are very different people. Tonight, the lessons of Lombardi and growing up in the shadow of a legend. Well, you could escape scrutiny by sitting back here. Huh? <laughs> Saw an ad in the paper the other day. Read for sale. Complete set of encyclopedias. Never been used. Husband knows everything. <laughs> But despite what my wife thinks, no one knows everything. So I think I live in my comments this evening to what I know something about. High performance people, winners, people like Wally Bono. What do they do? How do they do it? Now you may sit there and say, well, why? That's an ambitious topic. You've got to have a lot of brass. Get up before a whole bunch of people that you don't know and propose to speak about such things. Or at least be about six foot three, six foot four, broad in the shoulder, now at the hip, blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, I'm not any of those things. But I'm confident this evening proposing to stand before you and talk about winning in high performance for a variety of reasons. First of which, I've been around winners. I've been around high performance people all my life. And really for my own growth, my own development, I've made it my mission my purpose to study these people. People in all walks of life, people in the military, people in government, world-class athletes, great coaches, people in the private sector, such as a lot of you. And I've studied them with a thought. What do they do when they're at their best? What I'd like to do this evening is just rinse through with you just a couple of these concepts. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm simply a conduit for this information. The only difference between you and I is I've thought about these things a little bit more than you have. It's my intention this evening to hold up for you a mirror. A mirror that you can look into and examine for yourself the breadth and the depth of your goals and the commitment and the discipline and the perseverance you bring to the pursuit of those goals. It's my intention this evening to create within you a little dissonance, a little disharmony, a little dissatisfaction, which is the essence of motivation. So for the balance of the evening, you, be, you begin to ask yourself some hard questions. And maybe you'll be satisfied with the answers, and maybe you won't. I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know. Just talk to maybe present it to you a little differently, perhaps in a manner that you haven't seen or heard before. Now you may sit there and say, well, Vince, nothing new. Come on. Not the same old, same old. Not the same old motivational stuff where every time we come to a meeting like this, 
Well, let me ask you a question. How many diets does it take to get down the weight you'd like to be at? Just one. The one you stick with. How many times do you have to reorganize your office, your desk, your approach to your business, your profession, your career, before you begin to see some of the results you'd like to see? Just one. The one you commit to and stick with. And how many personal growth programs do you have to take on before you begin to see some of the changes in your personal life you'd like to see? Just one. The one you commit to and discipline yourself to stick with.